What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? So, pond trial season here in Delaware has just opened. I think it was about two days ago. And to be honest, guys, I cannot be more excited about this. As you guys know, trout fishing is definitely one of my favorite types of fishing. So, in this episode, we're going to be heading over to a trout pond, and hopefully I can catch at least one or two trout for a little catch and cook. Definitely going to be an interesting one. Let me get changed, and let's get over there. So if you guys remember, I actually have been to this pond fishing one time before the video will be linked up there. Basically, these trout were stocked by the state. They were stocked a couple days before this. They are farm-raised fish. That is why you see I'm using power bait. If you guys did not know, power bait pretty much tries to replicate the food that these fish were fed in the hatcheries. But yeah, guys, pretty much I'm still new to this whole pond trout fishing thing. So I treated it like creek trout fishing, which I do know very well. I used very light line, four pound fluorocarbon, a very small size 12 hook. And yeah, I was just using power bait, power bait eggs, power bait dough baits, just trying to see if I could get anything to bite. Now this is a spring fed pond. I did not know that. So there is current in this pond. Some people were using mouse tails. If you do not know what those are, you can head up here. I have a whole video of me using them. But yeah, guys, basically with this type of fishing, you kind of just cast your line in, you let it sit down and you just wait for that bite. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come here. You got a net? I didn't even bring my net, dude. That's how I'm prepared. Oh, man. There she is. This, guy's, this guy's got some... Uh, Bite. Strength, yeah, look at that. My pop. There you go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Thanks for the net, man. Brown, man. You got brownie. No, That's rainbow, rainbow, yeah. Boom. There you guys go. That is the first little rainbow trout here of the day, man. Oh, God. Whew. Excuse me, dog. And guys, besides that one fish right there, it was just tough, man. Nobody was really catching anything. This was actually the next day. Here's my buddy Austin. He actually hooked into a few. He was actually pulling them in on mouse tails. But yeah, man, this fishing was super tough. Like one fish for two whole days of fishing. I was out there for hours, but it is all good, man. One fish is, I mean, is better than a skunk. All right, y'all, so it is currently the day after the day after the clip that you guys just saw. Pretty much the next day after the footage you guys just saw. I did go back to that pond. I tried to get on some more fish, but they were just not having it. Pond trout fishing is just extremely, extremely slow right now. I wish I could have went the first two days that they stocked on the weekend, but it's all good, man, whatever. A lot more trout coming out in the near future. However, guys, we are doing a catchy cook on this guy right here. Basically, the other day I came home and I gutted it. This guy's just been chilling in the fridge, but just remember, guys, always clean your fish as soon as you can. I'm just really excited about this catch and cook guys because I have never done anything like this before and I mean I never seen it on the internet we might be the first people ever to do this I mean I know some of you guys are gonna be like why the heck did you do that but you'll see man hopefully this would be good like in my head it's a good idea so I mean hopefully like when it actually comes into real life it's a good idea either way man we have to go get some ingredients really quick and then y'all are gonna see the greatest rainbow trout catch a cook of all time so let's go get that right now All right, there we go with that. So we now have all the ingredients that we need. You guys might be a little bit confused, but all I have to say is welcome to another episode of Cooking with First State. As y'all can see, here's our beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout that we are gonna be cooking up today, as well as our other stuff that we're gonna be using to cook him up today, or her, whatever gender. Okay, okay. Let's see what we're working with here. You have to taste the ingredients. You have to be the ingredients. Man, I really do love me some flaming Hot Cheetos. All right, let's get to this, man. All right, guys. Well, first thing we're gonna do here, I already just opened these right quick. But pretty much, we are gonna be taking uh, some of these flaming Hot Cheetos here. Let me pour them out into a bowl. The plate works. All right, let me pour some of these out right here. A little something like that. All right, something like that. That's a, that's a decent amount of Flaming Hot Cheetos on that plate right there. All right, so basically what we are going to be doing with these Flaming Hot Cheetos, we are going to be turning them into Flaming Hot Cheetos dust. I'm not sure if this is the best angle to be filming at, but we're going to turn these guys into little dust, and it's just going to be uh, it's going to be a thing. All right, now I'm going to be completely honest here when I say I don't think I've ever used this thing before. I'm not even... How do you... There we go. All right, now I just got to figure out how this works, so I'm guessing I just kind of put this back like that. Um, power? Um... Oh. 
All right, all right, all right. That's looking good, that's looking good. That's one mess to clean up. But there we go, guys. That is the consistency right there that I was looking for. Chef First State has done it again. By the way, guys, before we go any further, I actually have no idea if this is going to work or not. I, this is just something that kind of came up in my head. And I was like, boom, all right, let's do it, man. So hopefully, like, this actually comes out edible. But yeah, I mean, this might possibly be the best thing that I've ever eaten. That is the exciting thing about this, man. All right, I'm hungry. Let's keep this going here. All right, so here is the Cheetos dust in this bowl right here. We're actually going to load this up with a little bit of flour. That is probably good right there. I'm going to set that aside. In this bowl right here, I'm just going to crack this little egg. This is going to kind of be like a little egg wash. Oh, that was not the best crack. All right, there we go. Whip this guy up a little bit. You know, a little 360 with the wrist, boy. All right, guys, so this is going to be the egg wash right here. This is, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys can see where we're going with this. I still have absolutely no clue if this is even going to work or not. All right, pan down, oil in. Not too much oil, just like, you know oil that looks pretty good right there heat on all right now we're pretty much just gonna chill until this oil gets hot right there pretty much i mean in the meantime we are going to get this fish prepared right here let me bring him over here this is the star of the show i feel like y'all have barely seen him so as i did say before i pretty much just went inside i cleaned this fish right there this is a freshly stocked trout very fresh fish definitely one of my favorite fish for eating let me show you guys how we're going to prepare it right here all right, i don't want to make a mess so i'm actually going to put this guy on a normal plate probably still going to make a mess either way i'm going to get this flour here and i'm just going to kind of put it all over our fish right here a lot of flour just flour everywhere all over the fish we are cooking the whole entire fish and i do not plan to waste much of it flip this guy over yeah man there's not really any tricks to this you know just give him a nice massage right here if you guys want to follow this recipe at home you know just use your fingers man it's all in the fingers all right let me get the tail Oh yeah, all right, now this is looking good. Let me give you guys a better look at this. Oh yeah, as you guys can see right there, completely coated in that flour, even the inside right there. By the way, guys, I absolutely hate working with flour and trying to film because flour just, flour gets everywhere. If you guys use flour, you guys do catch and cooks and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's a struggle, man. I mean, to be honest, guys, this looks pretty good. It kind of sort of looks like I know what I'm doing a little bit. Pretty much, guys, I'm just gonna give this guy a little egg wash bath right here. Now, this probably is not a conventional way. I probably have no clue what I'm doing right here. I just poured the egg here, and we're just gonna get this to stick all over this guy. I'm just gonna try to give him a little massage all in this egg right here. So, coming over here, you guys can see this is absolutely covered in the egg wash, even inside. So, we're gonna bring it over here now to the Flaming Hot Cheetos dust. <laughs> I really hope this works. All right, all right. So, currently transporting the fish over to Cheeto dust. Now, Cheeto dust all over fish is this working oh yeah it looks like it's kind of sticking sort of oh man all right, all right all right this is working guys cheeto dust is sticking all over this trout right here here you guys go man as you can see it kind of made a mess but this is what it comes out to this actually looks really really good like i'm not even joking i'm surprising myself by the second we're gonna be putting that into here i do not want the hot cheetos like crust to burn before the fish actually cooks so I'm actually going to put this down a little bit. This will definitely be the ultimate test of Chef First Day's cooking skills. Hopefully I don't burn down the house. Let's see how hot this oil is right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get this oil a little bit colder. Right, let's check this out now. Yo! All right, guys, our oil should have cooled down by now. Just in case, I'll bring out these little uh, Mickey Mouse hands. All right, here it goes, guys. Woo! You guys hear that sizzle? Sounds pretty good. Let me crank that up a tiny bit more. That is sounding and looking pretty good right there. I'm excited to see how this smells as well. We're just gonna give it some time on that side, then we're gonna eventually flip it over. And I mean, it's looking, I mean, give us, what do you guys think, man? Let me tell y'all, man, Chef First State is in the building. All right, guys, it's been cooking for a little bit. I'm gonna give it like two more minutes on this side, then we're gonna flip it over. But I mean, I gotta answer the question. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, why Flaming Hot Cheetos? Like, why would you put Flaming Hot Cheetos on your freshly caught rainbow trout? And the answer to that, guys, is I have absolutely no freaking idea, man. It just kind of came to me in my head. It was a vision, like, that's a raven. I was like, yo, this is gonna be freaking bomb. Let's get over here and flip this because it's actually making a lot of noises. I'm pretty sure it's ready to be flipped here. Let me use this little tool. Try not to get burned. Oh man, let me show you guys this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, here you guys go, man. Look at this side of the fish. What have I created? Can you guys see how freaking good this actually looks? A crispy, flaming hot Cheetos rainbow trout tail chip. This is definitely a discovery for the lifetime. Now, I'm not exactly sure if anybody has ever done this before. I'm sure people might have done this, I mean, with other kind of chips or with panko breadcrumbs or something like that. But I have never, ever heard of anybody using flaming hot Cheetos to do this, man. Flaming hot Cheetos.
All right, guys, so I'm pretty sure by this point, the fish should be pretty much done. All right, brand new plate right here. Let me turn this oil off so I don't get obliterated as I try to take this trout out. Yo, for real, I just thought about this though, guys. How crazy would it be if there was like some kind of master chef or like something like that for YouTube fishermen? Like, you know, all the guys out there, everybody that's catching cooks, like everybody does them. But can you imagine if there was some competition where we actually got like Food Network chef or something and we all went out there, we all caught our own fish from like the same body of water and we all prepared it like certain way. And then we had like a big competition. I think that, that would just be so cool. Not probably the easiest thing to set up, but guys, tell me that wouldn't be like the sickest thing ever. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Good grip, boom. All right, on the plate, boom, there you guys go, man. Hot Cheetos crusted rainbow trout freshly caught from a local pond and as you guys can see let me see the other side here boom oh man this side looks even better than the first side all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. let me show you guys guys all i have to say man who does it like this can you guys see how delicious this looks like i'm just gonna give you guys this close-up for a little bit just to appreciate the hot cheetos crusted fish now who knows if it's actually gonna taste good but come on man you guys gotta admit like that looks pretty appetizing all right that's enough of that that's enough of that i'm just excited this actually looks decent like i thought that this was not going to be looking i mean this good this is like i don't know man i feel like oh oh my gosh y'all aren't ready man did you guys just see when i opened that right there hold on let me get a better view for y'all crouch down up in here man let me rest this right there all right, let me get you guys a better view right here oh my gosh dude do you see oh my god you see that white meat right there flaking holy oh my god goodness that's it man like honestly i've never been this excited for a freaking catch and cook as i am right now like this is uh this is this is game changer two tough days out on the water but honestly guys look it looks like it is all worth it man flaming hot dude, all right let me stop talking about it no y'all probably just want me to eat it man let me get to that oh my gosh dude let me bring it over to the table but holy here's some different lighting to show you guys man look at that texture look at that look at that texture Woo! all right guys here we go this is the moment of truth man i don't know if you guys can oh hold on let me pick it up let me just show you guys one more time man what this fish looks like right here holy oh my gosh all right, all right, all right. i gotta chill man i'm actually getting a little bit too excited about this fish right here all right all right come here for a sec let me show you guys exactly what i'm working with here Woo! all right guys look at that man i just bent that part back so you guys can see kind of what we're working with here is the meat cooked to absolute perfection, to be honest, as you guys see right there, is some of the stuff that I put inside. What I'm gonna show you guys right here, I'm just gonna put my fork kind of into this. We're gonna take a nice little bite right here. Let's get some nice meat on there. All right, we got some trout. We got some hot Cheetos. All right, guys, let's see how this is, man. I am like, as I said before, I'm so excited for this. Make sure it's not too hot. Let me, let me soak it in here so I can give you guys a good review. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, y'all. So from that first bite, I somehow managed to cook this fish, like the fish part of the fish, to absolute perfection. Like, it is everything you could ever want from a rainbow trout. As I got to that crust, as I said before, guys, like one of my biggest fears about the whole crust situation is it getting too burnt. And one of my other fears also was that you wouldn't even taste the crust at all. But let me tell you, after you get the trout, you get a little bit of the, like the spiciness and it's just like, it doesn't taste exactly like hot Cheetos. It just tastes like spicy breading. Like, I don't know how to explain it. This is hands down. This, this is the best catch and cook I've ever, ever, ever done. I've ever tried anything like that. Let me get you guys a little piece from up here. Boom, trout breading, man. All right, let's get this guy a little, one more test here. This is definitely way better than I thought it would be. Like guys, I'm literally not joking. This is the best fish that I personally ever cooked. I really don't go out to eat and get fish. So this might even be the best fish that I've ever eaten. To be honest, like this is freaking good, dude. Let me just show you guys the fish one more time, man. I think it is worth looking at one more time. Look at this meat right there, man. Look at that meat. And there we go, there's the tail right there. As you can see, it kind of just flakes off like a little chip. And I mean, some people don't eat these, but why not try it? It just tastes like, hold on. It's just good, it just tastes like a little chip with a little bit of spice on it. I'm gonna demolish this thing. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much going to turn the camera off, eat most of this, but I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I kind of want some of my family members to try it, so I'm going to save a little bit for them. But as you guys can see, here is the skin of the trout right there, and here is pretty much the breading. I did not, and I'll say this again, even though I know I'm going to get a question about this, I did not take the scales off. I mean, with trout, you really don't have to do that. People always ask me every trout catch and cook if I do take the scales off. You guys can see right there. I mean, it's not really necessary. I mean, maybe some people do it. I just don't feel the need to do that. It's just like, here's the skin, and you got a little bit of meat right there. There we go, man. I mean, 
The skin of the fish, you guys, if you guys don't eat fish skin, it is like one of the best parts of the fish for you. Definitely recommend you guys. If you feel crazy enough to try this, it is, uh, trust me, this is... This is pretty good. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much going to do it here for this video today. This was definitely an interesting catch and cook. If you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys do enjoy the catch and cook, shut up, phone. And if you guys would like to see some more of these catch and cooks, definitely please give me a thumbs up on this video. As you guys know, these videos really do take a lot of time sometimes. I mean, two whole days out there on the pond, only got one trout but we did not get i mean we didn't get skunk so that's all that really matters in the end and i mean as i always say man it's just about being out there it's not about catching fish i mean when you are catching fish obviously it's a little bit more fun just getting out there anytime is a good time so i'm just very thankful that i had the opportunity to get out there on that pond for two days thank you guys just for continuously showing me love i promise guys i'm going to be putting out more and more videos the videos are just going to continue to get better and better i told you guys man this is our year so let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video